Hello, hello everybody. I am Suresh Ratan, uh, sitting in Aarhus University, Denmark, and I'm very happy to participate in your course Nutriciology, uh, which is actually a new term for me, the Nutriciology, the science of nutrition and health. So in the next uh, 13 to 15 minutes, I would like to talk about some of the very, very important aspects of survival and health and longevity and aging. Now, nutrition is one of the fundamentals of survival. All living systems need nutrition, which we take from outside, and then it is digested and converted into energy and its components are then reutilized to make our own components. So when we talk about nutrition in scientific terms or in biochemical terms, we basically talk about macronutrients and micronutrients. So macronutrients are things like proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and oils. And micronutrients become vitamins and other uh, trace elements and many other kinds of supplements even individually. Now, in the last 100 years or more, science has actually worked a lot in working out every kind of components that how much protein is needed, how much carbohydrates are needed, how much micronutrients are needed. Now, if that was enough, then by this time, we should have started taking all these nutrients in some pill form and eat it. Yeah. So although we have so much knowledge about nutrition, individual components of nutrition, nobody eats nutrition. We don't eat nutrition. We eat food. And that's why I will just introduce this, our latest book, uh, Nutrition, Food and Diet. Now, what, what does it mean? What are these three words? In nutrition, we know a lot that what happens when proteins are lacking or carbohydrates are not enough or vitamins are not enough. But as I said, nobody eats nutrition. Although theoretically, we can take all these nutritional components into a pill form or multiple pills and then survive. But nobody eats nutrition. We eat food. Yeah, we eat food which can be plant based food, vegetables, fruits or animal based foods. Now, we all eat one or both of these uh, resources. So nutrition is consumed in the form of food which is plant based or animal based. And the reason for that is that that is where all these components come together. And they interact with each other. And this is so complex that act actually we know very little about food. We know a lot about nutrition and nutritional components, but we still don't know much about food. And that is where modern research is actually really trying to work hard. That, for example, are the proteins coming from plant-based foods provide better uh, help for health and longevity or from animal uh, sources? Are the carbohydrates coming from animal sources better than plant sources? We know a lot about oils, that which kind of oils coming from which source are relatively better. Uh, generally, we talk about that the plant oils are better than animal oils. But not only that, there are lots of things in the food which we use in micronutrient level or small level, which have actually no nutritional value. Nutritional in the sense protein, carbohydrate and fats and oils. All these spices, garlic, ginger, onion, turmeric, uh, uh, rosemary, any of the spices and herbs what we use in our food are actually micronutrients of a different category. And those ca that category is now known as Hormetins, because these are the compounds which actually plants make so that nobody eats them because they are poisonous. But a lot of these so-called poisonous things 
are actually health beneficial for human beings because we have learned how to use them, how to cook them. So we don't eat nutrition, we eat food and food is a much more complex entity. All living systems have to eat food which then once consumed is metabolized either in the form of producing energy or we break down components of the food to make our own foods. We eat proteins from outside but then we digest them into amino acids and make our own proteins. So this old saying yeah, you must have all heard about, uh, we say, uh, we are what we eat. As if, if I eat banana, I become banana. Yeah, Or if I eat chicken, I become chicken. No, I don't become chicken by eating chicken. Chicken is just an animal source of those nutritional components. A banana is a, a plant source of providing me some of the components. So we all eat food. And as I said, within food, there are then these hundreds of micronutrients and this new category of compounds which we call hormatins which come from non-nutritional sources they are actually damage inducing things in our body but our bodies get benefits by getting the challenge when i eat spicy food or things like turmeric it actually causes a little bit of damage in the cells and then the cell tries to counteract the damage and potentially it can be beneficial. This is the phenomenon of hormesis. Yeah? You know everything about hormesis actually indirectly uh, from physical exercise. Physical exercise causes hormesis by causing challenge and by causing stress. So a lot of things in our food we have do exactly the same we sometimes end up calling them antioxidants, but most of them are not, like polyphenols, the flavonoids, the catechins. They are all micronutrients called hormatins. They are good for health because they challenge the system and the system tries to take care of it. So I have talked about these two points, that nutrition is the fundamental biochemical basis for survival of all living systems which use these nutritional components to make their own nutritional components or their own uh, metabolites. We eat food which comes from either plant sources or animal sources and in these we also make then some additional things, food uh, supplements or, or a little chopping over with things. But then there is a third level, even the food. When I say I have eaten chicken, maybe you imagine, like if you are listening to me in this course in Russia, that maybe I have made this fantastic uh, chicken kaiv or some other way of cooking the food in your culture. But maybe I have made a very spicy Indian tandoori chicken. So when we eat food, we actually eat food in our cultural context of diet. That's why the third word for this research area is nutrition, food and diet. Diets are very, very culturally dependent. What I have grown up eating in India and now I live in Denmark, my diet has been based or I have been uh, in a way conditioned by Indian way of making food, preparing food and eating food. Yes, scientific information might say Mediterranean is, diet is very good for health. Yes, Mediterranean diet is good for health if you are exposed to that and if you are a Mediterranean person. What's wrong with Russian diet? What's wrong with the um, uh, Chinese diet? So in this book, for example, we have tried to cover those topics. What are the principles of Ayurvedic diet? What are the principles of Chinese diet? What are the principles of like ketogenic diet and all these kinds of diet? Because diets are eaten in real terms and diet is also not the same. We eat our food in the form of diet in different times of the day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. No two cultures seem to eat exactly the same kind of breakfast. They will have similar food sources from plants and animals. 
but their breakfast will be very very different what i eat breakfast in england with sausages and baked beans and eggs and other is very different from what we eat in other countries or you will be eating same thing about lunch and dinner so diet is consumed in a cultural context and this is the very very fascinating area which so far has not taken that much attention we still think that by understanding components of nutrition we can talk about food and diet and then make certain common suggestions for all around the world no it doesn't work research on food and diet require maybe some new ways of doing things also because the double blind tests etc can't work on the food research because food when we consume as a diet as a human being as a breakfast lunch dinner it has many other factors it has smell factors it has taste factors it has nostalgia memory factors lot of new research is getting into this kind of understanding that we are not just biological machines we are not going to live in pills we are going to live life by consuming food where nutrition is the base to give us help in survival in healthy life even long life but we need to understand and respect each other's cultural behaviors especially during now this covid time this also became very clear that there are certain essential nutrients are needed because if your immune system is not working properly you will have more problems uh, 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 with with whatever infections we come those are the nutritional studies and lot of research is going on everywhere that what nutritional components are needed but you cannot just tell me that i must have this nutrition only in the pill form because food is never considered as a drug although in old times people used to say food is drug you don't know no it's not a drug food is the basis of life food is life and food eaten in a diet form in the meal form there is old uh, greek philosophy epicurean philosophy that food should always be eaten the meal should always be eaten in company with other people so the social aspects of nutrition is so important and that is where a lot of research is happening and new methods are developing about food and nutrition research there is we need more young people to come into this area but with a holistic approach not just reducing it to one little chemical at a time but talking about how we eat food why we eat food what's the purpose of eating food does eat food give me pleasure that is a very very important aspect of food if you can't get pleasure from what you are enjoy eating it's not going to be generally good for you so food nutrition food and diet are the most important foundation for health and as i said in earlier times we used to say we are what we eat yeah that we become what we eat no that is not actually right to say in this book we reach the conclusion that we eat what we are and that's a very different approach in nutritional science we eat what we are yes we need to know the basic biochemistry of that we don't end up eating absolutely nutritional deficient food or over nutrition but we need to eat food in the form of breakfast lunch dinner supper in combination together with the ones we love when we are happy the ones we like we enjoy the same food gives different biological end points when eaten alone or when eaten in a good company and science has not been able to answer these questions yeah the same food if i eat in a bad mood it sitting alone angry is going to give me more problems than actually making me healthy yes some of the components will still be doing their job but diet meal has to be enjoyed together with other human beings now the problem is that yes a lot of things are the world is still not getting even nutritional fulfillment is not uh, available all around there is a lot of malnutrition still in many countries of the world and on the other side there is the problem of overeating and obesity in many other countries where food is abundant so of course science has to deal with those aspects sociology has to deal with those aspects so as a scientist 
we have the responsibility to generate both the knowledge and the approaches towards strengthening this very, very powerful uh, foundation of health, which, which is the basis of survival. And it will help you to live healthy and longer. Things like hormetins, things like combination of food, interaction of food, very, very important. I think in this short message, I would like to just encourage you to attend this course on nutritiology with all these aspects in the back of your mind and get ready for a future of exciting research and achievements. Thank you very much for today. Hope to talk to you again some other time. Okay? Cheers.